Hi babies, um, long time no see. I hope you guys have been doing well. Uh, I recently just got a little blowout situ- I just recently got a blowout. My hair has never been so fucking smooth. And it's about that time to take advantage of the stretched and smooth hair to get myself a trim, so I figured I'd bring it with me. I know I'm the fucking worst. It's been like two years since I've uploaded to this channel. I moved to a whole different state. I've got five boyfriends. I'm married to one of them and I want you to guess who. First things first, rest in peace Uncle Phil. For real, no, but really. First y'all gotta know what the heck my hair even looks like because around my birthday, I ended up getting um, some blonde highlights. And matter of fact, I go get my highlights touched up in a week, which is exactly why I'm gonna give myself a trim now. So um, my lovely stylist doesn't think she's ruining the integrity of my hair. And because I'm overdue for a trim and I was supposed to give myself one after the last time that I got uh, my hair colored, so let's go. I totally don't know the last time that I did a length check or anything, but we're, we're, we've been getting a decent amount of hang time since my last big chop, which happened without any of you guys' knowledge because I wasn't here. At the beginning of COVID, I cut off all of my colored hair due to all of the... Oh, I will never dye my hair myself ever again. At the beginning of COVID, I cut all of my hair off until I had about like four to six inches of virgin hair. And then, yeah, I just kind of grew it out all through our quarantine and this is what we're working with now. Right before getting my hair highlighted, I cut about an inch or two off of my hair. And right now we're rocking it at about, at about armpit length. From the back, from the front, I, I don't have any type of real haircut. I'm sorry for constantly looking at my little viewfinder thing instead of at the actual camera. I need to work on that. It's been ages. I think I should get this. Anyway. The front of my hair is like just past my chin, same length all the way around, basically. But um, I am proud of myself for not ruining or burning off or chewing off my hair at all in the past 18-ish months. Um, I think we're at a very good, healthy, happy place. And the goal is just to keep getting blonder and blonder but not in the confines of my own bathroom. Into four sections we go. Um, I have a child. <laughs> my sweet little baby. My sweet little serious, my little naughty boy. Go. Now that we have four terribly, why am I even hunched over like this? Better, is this better? I think it is better. All right, now that we're in four sections, I like to do my sections in sections. And for me, that means grabbing some of these miscellaneous clips that I have around my place. All right, so for this first little section, it's the very back of my hair, and you're gonna feel for anywhere where your comb is tugging to see if you need to trim. No tuggy bits? Um, ciao, anyway, so today was the day my memory card decided it was gonna be full. But we ain't gonna we'll talk about it. Anyway, that's what I was saying. I need to be more mindful of how much I'm trimming this very front section of my hair because my edges are fragile. And you know, they're a little prone to breakage and I should definitely give them a little more TLC in the trim department because I not mean like the very, very, very edge little baby pieces like this. I never trim them. I don't think I've ever trimmed them. And you know, I feel like I should because just like the rest of your hair, if, if you get a split end in the front, or damage in the front, it's obviously just gonna keep splitting, so. Anyway, I should probably not be sitting on my feet so you can see the frick I'm doing. Oh, man. We're just gonna keep working our way up and I'm just gonna show you the way I trim my hair because y'all love and accept me just the way that I am and if it's not correct. It seems good. While I have you here, I might as well attempt to update you guys on my life. Since the last time I saw you folks, 
I have in the news of my hair. Let's go with that first. In the time since I've seen you last, I have relaxed my hair, dyed my hair a beautiful copper color, dyed it an even deeper coppery orange color, a uh, big chopped again, done a ridiculous amount of protective styles, and then learned how to properly straighten my hair so that I get zero free, zero free with minimal heat damage. And then I've colored it, like professionally, so that I can properly start my joint journey toward blonde without ruining my hair and then deciding I'm over it, like I usually do. In terms of my personal life, I totally don't even live in New York anymore. I did a full send to Texas at the beginning of COVID and I've been here ever since. I've moved once since being here, and I love it. I don't see myself leaving anytime soon, I don't think. And if I do, that's not in the plan for the immediate future or anything, but definitely in the back of the mind. Same car. Got my little puppy that I showed you guys earlier. His name is Sirius, of course, for the Harry Potter one that I am. Wow, trimming my hair is going a lot faster than I expected it to. Then again, I expected my ends to be very chewed up right now, but they're just not. For the first time in this trim, I actually saw an end that was split. Oh, I'm doing a really good job taking care of my hair. Ooh, this, this section is still a little crispy. No crispy bits. Whole left side. Trim is done. Now I finish the right side. Let's test this all. Look how you can test. I think we're good. And since my hair is already curled, what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna go dead, maybe? And flip it back in the way I want my hair curled. Because then it'll make them come back. And now we've got freshly trimmed hair. I don't know what it is about a fresh trim that makes me feel bald every time when I'm very clearly not. Even after that trim, we're still just about armpit length. My lovely colorist, Jess. Um, she works really good with textured hair, so pretty much anyone who lives in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, especially if you're in Frisco, um, and you're worried about seeing a colorist who knows how to work with curly and thick and type three, type four hair, you're gonna wanna see that. See you guys later, and yeah. Hi, Bessie.